What are you at ladies and gentlemen, my name is Lycos and this is my best start tips for new players in Fallout 76. If you find this video useful, it would be awesome if you would hit that subscribe button. And now, let's get right into it. When you're leaving the vault, you're going to be given the option to start at level 2 or to start at level 20. But to get the best start in Fallout 76, I'm going with the level 20 boost. In here we get a choice between a bunch of different loadouts. I'm going to be choosing the shotgun loadout. Number one, shotguns are pretty powerful in Fallout 76. You're putting a lot of points into strength with the shotgun build. So that's also going to give you a better carry weight and carry weight is extremely important in Fallout 76. In addition to that, using a shotgun is going to allow us to conserve more ammo, especially when compared to something that's fully automatic. So of course we're going to be putting a lot of our points into strength. And one more thing that I would recommend that you focus on is to put points into intelligence. The more intelligence you have, the more experience you're going to gain. So the game starts us off with a pretty good shotgun build here. Really the only downside to the shotgun build that they give us is that we get a level 4 lone wanderer. Most of the time we're going to be playing in a group for the extra benefits. So we're eventually going to have to switch out that card for something else. Now after you've left the vault, hopefully you got some decent items from the donations box made your way to the wayward and now you've gotten into the first quest line but once you get to this point maybe you're wondering how do i level up the fastest how do i get the best weapons and armor in fallout 76 and how can i power up my character as fast as possible now the first thing that you want to do is head across the road to the overseer's camp there's some useful materials here there's a cooking station there's a weapons workbench and an armor workbench and it will start you on a good early game quest line that you can progress so this video is not going to be focusing on the quests in Fallout 76. I'm going to be giving you some tips on how to level up fast and get some great early game weapons and armor. Well, one of the best ways to do it is to make sure you're doing events every time they pop up. But before we go to an event, we're going to go into our settings and turn on pacifist mode. This basically makes it so that when you accidentally shoot another player, it's not going to turn on PVP. It doesn't cost you any caps to fast travel to one of these events. And once you complete it, you get some really great rewards. But now there's a few things you need to think about when you're doing these events. Number one, you want to join a group. It's best if you find people at the event and join their group. If there's a group leader there at the event, you'll see one of these blue icons. You can actually click directly on that and join the group. But other than that, you can go to the socials tab on the map and you can join a group from there. You want to join a casual group because that'll give you more intelligence, which in turn gives you more XP. So make sure you're doing as many of these events as you can. But another thing that you should keep in mind is if you notice that there are no players at the event at all, then as a new player, you probably should avoid it. If people aren't interested in doing this event, it might mean that the event is not that great. And as a new player, you're probably going to have a really rough time trying to complete an event on your own. But other than that, make sure you're doing every event that you can. Most of the time you will get a bunch of good loot from the enemies and at the end of the event you'll get yourself a legendary and a bunch more loot as well. Now to make sure that you're getting as much loot and XP as possible, make sure you're taking as many enemies as you can and being in a group helps with this because you'll get credit for all the enemies that your group members are attacking as well. Now let's talk a little bit more about getting the best early game weapons and armor. Of course during these events you're going to be getting tons of loot and you might be lucky enough to get some really great legendaries. In addition to getting loot from events, I highly recommend that you check out this Brotherhood of Steel camp that's very close to the Wayward. There's always a couple of Brotherhood of Steel NPCs here, and if you farm these guys over and over, you'll get a lot of good loot. For starters, you'll get Brotherhood of Steel armor, which is very, very good early on, and they drop some pretty decent weapons as well, including the Handmade, which is an excellent automatic rifle. Farming these guys is really easy, all you need to do is just take them out and once you're done looting them, log out of the server that you're in and then back into another server. Rinse and repeat. Now another place that I really like to farm early on, if you can get here, is Blackwater Mine. There's a really good event that happens here called Uranium Fever. So if this is going on at any point, you can fast travel to the event. Also sometimes players have their camps here, so you can fast travel to their camp. But either way, if you see the Uranium Fever event pop up, I definitely recommend doing it because you won't regret it with the loot that you can get in the event and in the surrounding area. And this is a good place to pick up an early game combat shotgun.
Also in this location you can often find a power armor. Early on it's probably going to be too high level for you, but then you can just take the armor pieces and scrap them, and then you can keep the power armor frame to use later on, or you can actually use it without any armor on it at all, because it does give you some pretty good benefits even just with the frame itself. Now also in this area you will find the White Springs Resort. It is a very large building on the map, it's pretty hard to miss, and this is definitely a place that you're going to want to visit. It's a decent place to find some loot and there's a lot of ghouls here that you can farm as well, but the place that you really need to visit is the White Springs Mall. There are tons of vendors here with useful things to sell, and there's also a little location with every workbench that you're going to need. Now besides the workbenches, using this machine here you can turn legendaries into script, which is a very important currency, especially later on in the game. You can also find these machines in several other locations, like the train stations. And right next to this machine, you'll see a place where you can get gold bullion. Here you can turn in your treasury notes, which you will get from the events that you do. To get gold bullion, which is another currency you'll be using later on in the game, to get some really great rewards. Things like powerful weapons, powerful armor, and more. From farming events, I got myself to level 30. We also have a good shotgun and the Brotherhood of Steel Armor. But before I continue on leveling up, I want to go get myself the best early game power armor in the game. I highly recommend that you make your way all the way down south to this mining headquarters here. Now you can walk all the way down here, but there are a lot of events that happen here in the Nuka World area, so chances are you won't be playing for too long before you'll see one of these events happen. So I was able to get the fast travel point here and it's really close to the mining headquarters where I'm going to be able to get the power armor. There's going to be a poster that you can see just outside of the building and you can get a quest from that in order to go inside and get yourself a excellent early game power armor. You're going to be getting the excavator power armor and you'll be getting a plan so that you can build your own power armor station. So by level 25 to 30 we can easily have a full suit of Brotherhood armor, a good combat shotgun if we're going with the shotgun build, and then to top it all off, we also have our Excavator Power Armor, which is a very good power armor and even gives us plus 100 carry weight. Now the Excavator Power Armor does take a lot of resources that can be difficult to come by as an early game player. I personally really like to go get this power armor early on. Even if I'm not gonna use the power armor, I can always keep it on me so that if I get overweight, I can actually just take out the power armor and have an extra 100 carry weight so that I can just fast travel to a vendor. You can certainly wait until later on in the game and make a higher level excavator power armor. But if you want to get this armor at level 25, which is the earliest that you can make this armor, then I recommend that you are scrapping a lot of junk and the scrap that you can get off of the mole miners is really valuable for making the excavator power armor. Now, if you guys are interested, here's my early game build so far. I put a lot of extra points into Intelligence. I managed to get the Inspirational card in Charisma for extra XP while I'm in a group. As I said, I think this is a great early game build, especially for new players. If you found this video useful, it would be awesome if you would hit that subscribe button. If you want to check out more of my Fallout 76 guides, there's a couple on the screen right now. Thank you all for watching, and as always, stay where you're at, and I'll come where you're too. Later everyone.